the last 10 years, the financial markets have been characterised by artificial valuation support by the central bank's monetary policy decisions. We think there's one area, there's one instrument that hasn't benefited from that, and that's emerging market currencies. In emerging local currency debt, um, the US dollar is very important in terms of the performance of the currency component of those returns, which broadly over time account for 50% of the returns of the asset class. However, what we've seen over the last 10 years is that the weakness in EM currencies has dominated the returns and actually contributed to that poor performance in the asset class. In this chart, we can see how dominant the dollar has been over the last 15 years since the global financial crisis. On a trade-weighted basis, it has appreciated 50% against a basket of EM currencies. And that's leaving the dollar, on our calculations, 11% overvalued and EM currencies 20% undervalued. I fully believe this is an exciting time for investors in emerging market assets. We are seeing a few structural pointers that indicate that we could see an interesting entry point to invest in the asset class from the US dollar through to emerging market, developed market growth gap. And we have to remember that investors are under allocated to this asset class as well. We see this as a secular trend that will be evolving over the next 10 to 15 years in terms of a revaluation of emerging currencies against at a minimum stability in the dollar, if not weakness in the dollar. In global fixed income, emerging markets accounts for one third of the issuance. It's been growing at 15% per annum for the last 15 years and is continuing to grow. If we think about the percentage of the world's population, the percentage of the world's share of GDP between emerging markets and developed markets, emerging markets is dominating.